What's happening guys? Welcome to the Rebel Workshop. Today's video is a wee bit of a follow up to the last video I did where I showed you how I started putting the room together and I thought I would do a wee tour. Now the room's not very big so the tour won't take very long. So the room is only 3 metres by 3 metres. It's not a big room but it's big enough for our needs. Once I've done the wee tour I've got a couple of wee things I need to do. As I mentioned last time, I need to do something with these drawers under the desk, add a wee bit more to them. And also I need to add a couple of wee things above the desk. But more on that soon. So let's do this! So here we go. Let's just ignore the shelf. We all know what happened with that, but anyway. So this is outside of the door. The workshop sign and the warning sign. These have worked out pretty good. Coming into the workshop. Alexa, workshop on. Here we are. So I may as well start with how we get in through the door. And you can see one of the control panels that I did. Oh, you can actually see the wee bits inside the lens. That's quite cool. Yeah. I am a Hobbit fan, Lord of the Rings fan as well. And I've got a few things kicking about that are not just Star Wars. Yeah, this lights up as well actually. The runes light up. It's not the brightest, I think the batteries are being changed. But yeah. Nice. Some of my Wolverine claws. Nice tag. And the shelves, you've probably seen these before. These are always behind me, so I've got the Black Series helmets at the very top. The vault books, then bits and pieces below that. I've got some of my Yavin medals there. Chewy. My Rancor. My Hasbro Rancor, I think it was. I've had this for years. And a few other things, so I've got discs that light up, Batman Arkham series game stuff, so Batmobile, the Bat Batrang, Batarang, can't even say that, but it's actually aluminium, it's not sharp, which is a good thing because I'd end up throwing it at someone, there you go my wee custom blaster, my sonic screwdriver on Doctor Who, Got Judge Dredd's lawgiver over here from the Sylvester Stallone film. Yeah, this is just something I did at school years ago. It was supposed to be a self portrait in clay, but yeah, I painted it green. Why not? If you know what this is, you know. One of my lightsabers in its case. There's a wee video about that. A few other uh, Lord of the Rings things. Yep. Yeah, if you know what these are, you know. There's my remote control DeLorean. See the Lego Vulcan. The other bits and pieces at the back. This will be looked at sometime in the future. But not just now. Then there's a cabinet that you might have saw in the last video. The plaques that are on it. And I've just got all my tools and things in there. Got my gun rack, blaster rack. And 
the space for something. Still got the space for something. Got my spray paint and things down here. All the wooden crates with stuff in them as well. Pile of things to take apart. Pile of rubbish next to my frog lady container, which is looking a wee bit disgusting inside. I'd hope that, that this wouldn't have happened, but it looks like a petri dish inside, so that's neat and cleaned out. Mmm, yeah, lovely. There's my other control panel that I made. Some clips of things in there. I'm going to show you them though. We've got the desk worked up. Which is looking not too bad just now. I did clean it up a wee while ago. You can see my wife has got stuff lying around. Some of our work in progress stuff, paintings and things like that. Just off the window, I've got some of my old Hasbro toys, some of my master replicas, FX lightsabers. An amazing poster that came out of one of the vault edition things. Well, I'm right. My clock that you probably hear a lot in the background, which annoys me so much. I'm going to try and get another mechanism that's maybe quiet. Don't want to get rid of this because this was actually a gift from my brother. I love it. Yeah, so more drawings. Yes, those are Harry Potter ones. My Sphero R2 and BB8. Another wee glimpse of another future project. If you know what this is, leave a wee comment below. Pegboard with all the things I need. Not quite all the things, but most of the things. You even got a to-do list up there. I know it's kind of hard to see. There's BB-8's decapitated head. Yeah. Death Star light. Now it does change colour. It's an LED bulb that's in it. Boom. Yeah, so the pegboard. Eventually I will get the shelf back up here. Give me a bit more display space. Over here we've got some more master replicas. FX lightsabers. And here we've got my miniature Star Wars helmet collection. All the kind of clones here. Some of the bounty hunters. And I've got the rebel shelf with all the rebel helmets. And the Empire slash bad guys up the top. Now these are great. Uh, the room just wouldn't accommodate too many helmets. There's just not enough room in here. But these guys are quite small and they're pretty well detailed. And I'm really happy with them. I have gone over some of them and weathered some of them, which I still need to do with a couple. scale Hasbro TIE Fighter up here. Large scale, I don't think it's called that, I think it's large wing it's called, but yeah. And we've got my IKEA glass cabinet with some of my custom lightsabers in them. Yes, that's Darth Maul's in the middle. 
I'll go through these. I won't point them out, but you can see them there. It is a mix of replicas and custom ones as well. They all light up, make noises and things like that. I've even got a droid remote thing. back to the door with Han stuck in the back of it and the Death Star wall panel light above as well yeah so that's the room as you can see it isn't very big but it's big enough and it holds plenty of stuff it's my vintage Kenner High Interceptor There is a video of me fixing the sounds that are in this Maybe I'll re-look at it now, I do probably have to apologise for all the dust I've not dusted anything, it gets quite dusty in here Especially working with things Sanding things All the usual yeah, I think that's pretty much everything in the room. But back to what I'm going to do next. And that's these drawers. So as I mentioned before, these were quite influenced by the Droid Depot at Galaxy's Edge. I think they look great, but they need a wee bit extra. So what am I going to do? Couple of things. I have printed off some decals that I'm going to stick on. You can see quite a few. I'm just adding these on, then I'll weather them. I also have these nets. Now, these came out of my old car, they were in the boot of my old car just to keep things tidy but they don't fit my new car but I thought I could attach these to the side and it would give me extra space to put things in first things first I need to cut some of these out so a big shout out to Edo from Fabworks he put all these things together he recreated a lot of these Stickers from Galaxy's Edge, these decal stickers. So Edo and Derek from Van Oaks Props have actually put these together and sell them as pre-printed sticker sets. I'll put a link in the, lot of the description below, but for my purposes I wanted to weather them slightly before I actually printed them off, so you can see just a wee bit of worn away looking. I know I'm going to use these numbered ones on the drawers. Then I'll just go from there. As I said, I need to cut them out. I won't bore you with that, but here we go. There we go. That seemed cut out. So when I printed them out, I did give them a coat of a uh, matte clear coat varnish just to try and protect them a wee bit. So when I do go over them with a weather wash, that shouldn't ruin the paper too much. And it is just sticker paper so it will just peel off the back like so and stick on. So as I said, once I've stuck these on, and then the other ones that I want to put on. I'm going to go over it with a bit of a black wash. I'll be using my spray bottle to get some drips going on. Just to add another layer of detail to them so they look like they've been used and moved around by the rebels. Yeah, so I'm going to cut some more out, decide where I'm going to put them all, and stick them on. So 
there we go after a lot of cutting out I now have lots of decal stickers just to stick on amazing so let's go on with it so that's the decals on the first drawer already they look good it's added just a wee bit of story to the boxes slash drawers yeah. so I'll do the other set of drawers every time to give these a wee bit of a dirt weather wash and that's the decals on the other drawers So onto the black wash, I made up some water down a click already and I'm just going to go over this. I hate being on the floor, I really do, but needs must. I'm just going to go over. There we go. Dirty decals. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to do some wee drippy bits using my water squatter. Let's see how this goes. thing is, if you don't like how it's looking, you can just come back and dab it off. So I will just leave this to dry. Make sure there's no bits pulling. Yeah, that would do with me. That would do it. Quite happy with that. As you noticed, I have put some paper down on the floor just in case there are any drips. And it should just be all good. But yeah. Oh, there's a wee drip. Now we're on to the next one. So while I leave the drawers to dry, I want to deal with this wee bit under the pin board, pegboard. These cables look okay, but I've got some plastic conduit cable tidy stuff. I think that'll look good there. This is way too shiny and new looking. So what am I going to do with this? I'm going to dry brush it. This is some, some silver paint. So I've just sprayed out some silver paint from a tin can. And I'm just going to over this just a wee bit. There we go. Simple. But effective. Yeah. This is something I've been meaning to do since 
I wired up the lights. Yeah, that's great. A simple little project, but adds a bit more detail to the room. So to attach the net into the side of the drawers, I've got these small D-rings. They were silver, which I didn't like. So I just gave them a quick spray paint of black, including the screws as well. So I'll just mark where these need to go, drill a wee pilot hole, screw them in, and they're good to go. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed the wee workshop tour, showing off some of the stuff in the room. And I hope what I did with desk drawers has inspired you to go out and do something yourself. As always, thank you for watching, please remember to subscribe, like and hit that notification button. And I'll see you next time on the Rebel Workshop. Alexa, workshop off.